Great, thanks. Uh, I'd like to give a short report about some of the efforts to expand the role of the arts in sustainability science here at UGA and share some new research questions and opportunities. Now, last year I was invited to participate in this symposium for the first time and I talked about opening a conversation about arts and sustainability. There's a long history of art that's about nature and art that has meaningful relationships to where it exists in the environment. And it's inspiring to see how creative design can reduce waste and encourage a more responsible use of materials. Uh, art has the power to communicate and raise awareness, but after that, what happens? There's a challenge in how the arts can contribute to actions that directly restore and protect the environment and even help craft better policy about sustainability. Uh, sustainability science can challenge art, too. Uh, I spoke last year about being struck by the way that the enterprise of scientific research and sustainability work, like conservation, can extend over multiple lifetimes and generations. This is in radical contrast to much of the field of art that often prioritizes being contemporary, uh, eliciting immediate reactions, uh, and competing for attention now. And one way in which that sense of time and collective effort is felt uh, here is through partnering with programs like the Center for Integrated uh, Conservation Research, Watershed UGA, and the Office of Sustainability. On numerous occasions in this past year, we found project ideas that were just waiting for an arts partner uh, or some kind of fresh perspective or new leaders to pick up a great idea that was already in progress. And through these interactions, new ideas have been generated and uh, relationships are being built. Uh, talk a little bit about some of that. The Office of Sustainability, supported by the student green fee, has been a showcase for innovative ideas and early to encourage the potential of arts involvement through the Campus Sustainability Grants Program, where we've kind of built in a sustainability plus arts component. They've been actively recruiting proposals with arts components and awarded grants to projects like the Shopbox, an idea to extend the UGA material reuse program by making salvaged and discarded art supplies and raw materials available to art students near their classrooms and studios. And A4P, the Air Purifying Plants Proliferation Project, <laughs> uh, to introduce new standards of art studio safety, uh, replace traditional materials with non-toxic and sustainable alternatives, and of course, introduce air purifying plants to art workspaces. And these are both examples of project ideas that existed already and were able to move forward with the support of those grants. They were able to move from the concept stage to the crucial but often unglamorous period of research and development, actually trying things, bringing stakeholders together, and to get a sense of the real challenges of implementation. Uh, the UGA Children's Theater Troupe, which is a student organization, received a sustainability grant to produce an original uh, fun play for kids about ingenuity and recycling. And they had a hands-on kids maker space where they could experiment and design and bring home a project. And through the visibility of that grant, they were able to find a great co-producer in the State Botanical Gardens who hosted the play in their new theater in the woods. So another strategy to expand arts and sustainability has been to partner with existing sustainability efforts to complement and, and grow their programs. The Chu Crew, uh, this is goats who eat invasive species, and Watershed UGA were both able to uh, renew external funding in part by adding arts outreach components. Uh, Watershed UGA in particular has been a tremendous resource to help organize thinking about arts and sustainability. Uh, we've been thinking of campus watersheds as a kind of boundary object, a place where different disciplines can frame problems in overlapping ways. And it's a natural condition where we can incorporate some of the synergistic qualities of art and creative thinking. Uh, okay, here's a quote I wanna share from uh, Liz, choreographer Liz Lerman. Ask a big enough question, and you will need more than one discipline to answer it. This idea 
has been a guiding principle and a motivation to see how ambitious we can be with the arts and collaborative work in tackling complex real world problems that require uh, interdisciplinary expertise. Last month we used the UGA Spotlight on the Arts celebration as a platform to try some different kinds of events like a workshop, lectures, roundtable discussion, performances, and uh, we even made an artist book. Uh, with support from the Ray C. Anderson Foundation, we ran a campus-wide design competition focused on raising awareness about campus watersheds. And you can see the posters from that competition outside in the gallery. There were proposals from 15 interdisciplinary teams comprising 18 graduate students and 14 undergraduate students representing Lamar Dodd School of Art, College of Environment and Design, Hugh Hodgson School of Music, Ecology, Engineering, College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences, and the College of Education. And we were able to invite Elizabeth Kaur, the Art Partnerships Manager of the Natural Resources Defense Council, to share her innovative work and best practices. Uh, she has pioneered a kind of embedded artist model for the NRDC, where artists are integrated to the daily operations of the organization. And they're not just doing projects, but they're joining meetings, uh, being a part of conference calls, and participating at the very beginning of project ideas. Uh, she talked about the benefits of different kinds of communication through art projects, how art can move ideas to new audiences and engage directly with people, and how emotional responses to art can lead to curiosity and action. But she also spoke about the challenge of how to create art projects that are not overly didactic or unintentionally add value to the problem itself. Now I'm reflecting on the campaign. <laughs> uh, at our roundtable discussion, how artists, scientists, and environmental activists can work together, we had a lively discussion with one of those rare instances of healthy and passionate exchange of ideas with the many students in attendance. One of the resounding statements from the audience was, we need new spaces. I've been thinking about that a lot lately. What does this really mean? What are students not recognizing or finding in the rich offering of resources at UGA that can enable creative and collaborative work around issues of sustainability? One of the things I noticed in talking to students about the daylighting competition was that the prize money may not be as powerful an incentive as having the opportunity to have real, not just hypothetical, impact on restoration on our campus. We have an opportunity here to engage students where they live and to learn how to broaden the reach of sustainability beyond those already listening. And part of the challenge now is to create paths for students to contribute in meaningful ways by bringing efforts more in sync with actual campus sustainability priorities, the things that really have momentum and are on the, the plan. Uh, this will require more groundwork, uh, research, trust building, but those skills are exactly what are required to achieve any kind of meaningful impact. Let's bring artists to the table earlier rather than later, and the quality of art will improve drastically when artists can be a part of the process of creating parameters and, and creative constraints. And we can discover together how large-scale initiatives such as restoration right here uh, might benefit from their involvement. Now this morning we had an amazing experience in an arts and sustainability workshop. And doing creative work together is fun and frustrating. And it's fascinating to see how quickly people from very different backgrounds can start to build bridges and talk about complex issues. We've been exploring themes of language, image, and metaphor. And these workshops seem to gravitate toward ideas of healing. And perhaps it's unsurprising that in an environment where we see examples of significant parts of the population basing beliefs and actions in feeling more than fact, we feel the challenge of helping people feel the reality of conditions that threaten their existence. We need new spaces. I don't think the sentiment comes from a place of ignorance, but a place of intelligence and basic survival to possess, to find the tools and spaces to explore and manage the emotional toll of engaging in complex problems like climate change. 
art can create a space for emotions, a space to express fears of the unknown and fears of the known. When we have these spaces to experience, express, and contemplate, we can better name and understand the nature of the damage, the wounds, the, the sense at times of feeling powerless, and begin a process toward healing, protection, and preservation. In this sense, art and science have a shared mission to make the complex and often invisible both felt and seen. I want to talk a little about some outcomes and next steps. The Office of Sustainability took a bold step after that roundtable to create an artist in residence internship position. It's been great to have artists and speakers on campus uh, talking about their work, uh, like choreographer Cassie Metter, social practice artist Amy Franceschini, musician Stephen Wood, photographer Jeff Rich, and Elizabeth Kaur. But there's a realization that artists working outside of conventional structures do not have as many opportunities to actually meet each other. So a next step is to see how UGA can be that nexus. Let's host a conference that brings together artists, scientists, funders, activists, and policymakers, and see what great ideas and collaborations can emerge. Uh, an environmental practicum course on campus now has spots for people to receive art major credit. Uh, a major national endowment for the arts proposal was generated here, using campus watersheds as a site for creative placemaking. That's the hottest trend in arts funding right now. The emergence of collaborative teams using the arts as a new strategy for external funding and sustainability is really exciting. There's a real shift of thinking from regarding art as something that might be brought in as part of a broader impacts and outreach strategy to something more fundamentally integrated in generating new research. A uh, team here is developing an NSF proposal for a series of workshops to bring together students to see how art methods can build creative capacity in scientists and how co collaborative creative activities can build skills for interdisciplinary teamwork. Traits that are nurtured in arts training, such as divergent thinking, resiliency, iterative design, problem solving, formative assessment, all seem to have potential to benefit uh, these interdisciplinary approaches to wicked problems. So expanding the role of the arts in sustainability science is a way to rethink the role of the artist and to identify aspects that complement different aims of sustainability science. It's also a way to generate new questions that emerge from the inherent uncertainty in collaboration. And I'll leave you with some of those now. Thank you.